Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Feeding with Finn, where we are trying to imitate the amazing binging with Babish, and also making traditional Finnish cinnamon buns, or as we call it, bulla. I'm joined by my lovely mother, who will be actually doing the baking. In a medium bowl, we are combining 500 milliliters of milk at room temperature, crumpling up one cube of yeast, adding two deciliters of sugar, that's right, I said deciliters, this is a Finnish recipe after all, two eggs, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and an optional two to three teaspoons of cardamom, which isn't available everywhere. This was actually flown in from Finland. Carefully mixing together until yeast is dissolved, then adding a little of the one kilo of flour as a start and stirring. After the flour has been assimilated, we're changing to the dough hooks or using a stand mixer. You're gonna wanna use a stand mixer or at least use a mixer that isn't five years older than I am. Adding almost all of the rest of our kilo of flour, we're mixing for 10 minutes, adding more of the flour until it doesn't stick to the sides or to our finger when we touch it. After seven minutes of mixing, we're adding 125 grams of butter, and then we're continuing the mixing for the remaining three minutes. God, I hope you have a stand mixer. This dough is still a little bit too sticky, so we're going to add some more flour to remove the dough from the sides and then kneading it on a floured surface until it doesn't stick to anything anymore. Then we're going to cover with a clean dish towel and let rest for an hour. Once risen, we're going to remove from the bowl onto a floured surface and with floured hands mold the dough into a loaf form. We're going to cut the dough into two halves because we will be using two methods to make three different versions of pulla. First, we're going to take the dough and flatten it first with our hands and then using a rolling pin, trying to keep a consistent thickness and ending with a rectangular shape. Once flattened, we're going to cover the entire surface in butter, coat with sugar and cinnamon, making sure we get the edges or there will be sugarless and cinnamonless bulla and nobody wants that. Now here's where we can use different methods. Method one is to roll the dough. From this rolled up dough, we can make two versions of bulla. The first is the classic Finnish one called korvapusti, which literally translated means ear slap, because apparently they look like ears. To make these, we need to cut the dough into triangles by cutting diagonally along the dough, alternating the angle. The second method is to just cut straight lines, which is more what Americans would know as cinnamon rolls. With the straight cut version, we can just lay them on their side on a baking sheet. For the triangular korvapusti, we need to stand them up like a pyramid and press on the tip. Do the sides look like ears? I don't know. Once we've pressed all the tips, they can join the cinnamon rolls on the baking sheet. Maybe a little further apart since, spoiler alert, they are going to rise and become one. We're going to cover and leave alone for 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, we can move on to the second method and third variant, and the one I'm most familiar with, the knot. Same as last time, flatten, butter, sugar, cinnamon. But this time, instead of rolling, we're folding the dough, then sealing in the filling by lightly pressing the dough together. Then we're going to cut the dough in straight strips. To make the knot, we're going to take a strip, twist it while stretching, and then just make a simple knot. Repeating for the rest of the strips and placing them on a baking sheet and covering for 10 to 15 minutes, letting them rise. After which, they should look like this. All that's left now is to brush the top of the korva pusti, the sides of the cinnamon rolls, and the tops of the knots with a beaten egg. Basically, we're going to avoid brushing the parts that were cut. Finally, we're going to sprinkle some hail sugar. That doesn't sound right. God, it's hard to translate this from a Finnish recipe with ingredients bought in Germany. 
Okay, so the online dictionary says sugar crystals, coarse sugar, or decorating sugar. Basically, thick sugar is what we want. Then into a preheated oven at 225 degrees Celsius, they go for 13 to 15 minutes, depending on their size, or until the outside is golden brown, like this. And there you have it, Finnish bulla. Bulla is best enjoyed warm on a marimekko serving platter with a glass of milk. And here I come for the most important job, the taste test. These taste like my childhood and home. Thankfully, I'll have this video to come back to anytime I feel like having a taste of home, no matter where I am in the world. 